Hello everybody, it's your boy Mr. Madness coming at you live with a another Resident Evil 3 video. Sorry I don't upload much. I'm usually pretty busy, but I do try to get these videos out there. So we're going to be picking up where we left off with Jill Valentine. Gotta say I do love the uh, the scene, the scenery, and the... Uh, and <laughs> the way they designed that building and this loading screen, it's honestly kind of funny. Yeah. Oh boy. Went from 10% to 90% in no time. Just like my mood. Alrighty. Okay, good. I saved my bullets from the last time. And I have Kuniffy! I don't know why anybody in the Resident Evil games carries a Kniffy. Let's go, Jill. Oh, dear. Okay, more survivors. We've got to get that train moving. <sighs> okay, cool. So I can dodge. That's going to be nice. Can I go in here? No? See what's around this corner. One down. And I back stepped into more ammo. That's handy. This looks just like the COVID outbreak, except uh, a little more tame. <laughs> Funnies. Hmm. I gotta figure out how to unlock those, too, to be honest. I feel like that's gonna be a wind up being a problem. Gunpowder so that I can make more movements. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <laughs> Fuck you. It's pretty hot in there. Gotta put this out. Kind of reminds me of uh, Texas weather. Oh. 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 Yeet. Fuck that shit. Ain't got no time for that. Wonder how many quick steps I can pull off. Let's see if I can just. Yeah, nobody got time for all those shenanigans. Oh, yeah, bullets. Getting bullets like crazy. Ooh. Okay. So they're uh, still deceased. That's good. I'll save this gunpowder for now. Mm. Ooh. Fancy box. This definitely looks like uh, it's time for some of the Resident Evil mystery solving. Examine. Ooh. Red jewel. OK. 
Okay, I feel like I'm definitely going to need that later. Alrighty. Normally I'd stop at the next save, but like we literally just started. And I'm not going to leave you guys hanging like that with what? Look at three minute video? Fuck no. Let's keep going, shall we? Um, kind of want to see a little more about what's going on. I wish I could turn off that radio. Kind of oh boy. Or that could just be completely useless. Or not. That's handy. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go here. This part was in the tutorial as well. I believe there's a shotgun in one of these rooms? I don't remember. Hold on. Just double check. Sure would help if I didn't fucking miss all the time. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. Aha! That's gonna help. That'll help me take out the fire. Let's see. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack that should keep it safe from any would-be looters. While I go out to find, go out and try to find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say they uh, definitely did not make it out alive. No, let me open this one. There we go. Gunpowder. Hand grenade. There we go. Gotta like me some hand grenades. Okay. So it said cut the chain, so I'm probably gonna need some bolt cutters, is what it looks like. I'll have to find those. This must be the subway company's offices. Okay. Hmm. Oh, those are some actual. I actually want to eat donuts now. I want to eat some donuts. Ugh. Sucks that everything's locked. Kite Bros Railway Man. Ensuring a safe subway operations. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations once power has been restored. Please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Interesting. Huh. Nothing. So once I get the power back on, I'm going to be coming back here, which means I'll probably be getting that shotgun again, too. Now nah, I'm pretty sure Tubby comes through this door. Huh? Huh. Last time, someone just busted through the fucking door. Mind you, that was in the tutorial. Oh. This part over here is actually... <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh fuck! Fuck that shit! Gonna need that. Jesus Christ, I need to work on my aim. J 
just to be sure. <sighs> High quality gunpowder. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Fuck. Oh, I just made shotgun shells. Oh well, it's better than getting rid of it. Alright, I remember in the... Oh, here we go. Handgun ammo. I'm back to like 28 rounds, that'll do. Remember in the tutorial in the safe, the code for that shit was here. I think it's, okay, so 937. And if you go upstairs, there's like a safe and the dude's like, not even my wife can do this, blah, 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 code, etc., etc. You know, Resident Evil shenanigans. Fuck that has to have a special code and conveniently live a ri leave a riddle so you can solve it on your own. Oh fuck! And here we go. Fuck! Fuck. Why did I even try? No, 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 bitch! Okay. That's it. Fuck this shit. You're getting... Should have done that in the first place. I don't need all that health right now. Okay. And let's... Drugstore owner's journal. Here we go. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works. Wonders. So it's no surprise I was counting on this and ordering ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. This, that said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cast that's rolling in. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen. And she'd never give it up for a thief. Or whatever helps you sleep at night, buddy. And... I think it's... Nine... Three... Seven. There we go plan didn't work out too well for you, did it now? Fuck yeah. Pretty sure you can get an extended mag on this thing too. So now I have that nice little red dot. That's gonna come in handy. Um, that can't be it. Actually, no, this goes straight up to the tower. Oh, and straight down there. Maybe I'll, have to, I'll go back and explore if there's anything on that bottom floor. And I hear some Zambonis off in the distance. How lovely, how lovely. I'll probably save that. Because I'm likely going to need it soon. Thought so. Nope. And just for good measure. Okay. And for you. Okay. There we go. Don't like wasting supplies, but I do what I gotta do. No, 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 no. I don't want to go back up just yet. Let's see what's next on the menu. Uh, 
shit. I should have saved that, uh, herb. Okay, let's go see what's in that other room. Then we'll go ahead and put out that fire. Nothing down there. Rip. Jeez, Jill. What the problem is? I mean, aside from getting the shit beat out of you by Nemesis, and then not only that, but uh, fighting an entire city full of Zambonis. I'm pretty sure the fire is this way. Mm, I should find the bolt cutters there as well. Should get me the shotgun. Because we know it's not Resident Evil without laser sighted handguns and shotguns. Yeah. Hey, can't believe that one's still alive. And let's go ahead and use the water hose. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Making some progress. Mm. In the demo, Nemesis shows up like right around the fucking corner. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I like it. It kind of gives me some Fallout vibes. Oh yeah. Hold on. I don't need a hand grenade right now. Here we go. Bolt cutters. Now that's the stuff. Is someone in here? Oh, fuck no. Hold on. We're gonna go get the shotgun. shotgun before I do any of that other nonsense. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. I think it was down here. Uh, oh, these assholes are still alive. Oh, wait, I never killed these guys. There we go. Yeah, it's down here. Through here? Through here. And then up ahead. Shotgun. Yeah, this would be like the perfect place for a liquor to be hiding too. Kinda reminds me of the second game. Fuck yeah, shotgun time. And I made some shotgun ammo before, too. Oh, nice. And it only takes up, like, one slot. Kinda sucks that it only holds four rounds. Imagine you can upgrade the cylinder later. Here we go. Oh. Just for good measure. They definitely were not that easy to kill in the first game. Or I mean the second game. Kept coming back to life and all kinds of shit. Miss me with that nonsense. Come on, Jill. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> oh. Feel like I'm playing Dark Souls again. All we need now is the ability to roll. Alrighty. Now that I have my handy shoot gun, my build cutters, I'll pull out some ammo. Honestly, probably gonna heal first as well. 
I'm only gonna use a normal green herb because I wasted that other one anyway. Let's see what's behind door number one. Cutscene. Can you be see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! Oh, fuck. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Oh, fuck. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. That's definitely Nikolai. He looks different. I kind of liked his appearance better in uh, the um, in the Operation Raccoon City one. Let's see, training log. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job. Don't know how they're gonna wipe out a life sentence for murdering, or for murdering 20 gangbangers. But whatever, I'll take it. Beat shitting away the rest of my life, or the rest of my days behind bars. I gotta get back in shape. 196 pounds, 20 kilometer run, 3 circuits. Target practice at 400 yards, 5 misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp when I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. 190 pounds. Oh, 190 pounds. 30 kilometer run. Three circuits. Target practice 600 yards. Two misses. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good. Feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my fir my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. One eight. 181 pounds, 30 kilometer run, 4 circuits, target practice at 600 yards, no missions. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to, t to reach out and help people. Right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do something, some good for a change, the way I know best. Huh. Alright. I didn't know that, um, I knew Umbrella were all mercenaries, but I didn't know that they hired, uh, uh, convicts. To be fair, though, I don't really, I fail to see the issue with what he did. Dude was just killing already bad people. As far as we know, anyway. It's his side of the story. Oh, fuck. Looks like Nikolai's just killing everybody. UBCS suicide note, or not. September 28th, the Middle East, Northern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles. And yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through sh enough shit to know it only gets ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward, I don't care. This is the only way I have out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Let's test that theory. Yep. You're fine, dude. <laughs> I mean, about as fine as you're gonna get. Let's see. Electricians notice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City 
Electrician's Guild. Due to ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to get be struck or impacted by gunfire, gunfire, anyone surrounding nearby could get electrocuted. Handwritten edition, you got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it, don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Huh. It's gonna be handy, so it's sparking. fight you there. Okay, just to be sure. Nice little trick. You guys can stay. I don't wonder if I can stab them through the, the fence walking dead style. Oh, I can't. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, fuck. I do like how like their hair flies back when I fucking shoot the shit out of them. Fuck! How many times do I need to hit you? Jesus Christ. Stop spamming that shit. Okay. Alrighty, nothing else around here. Red herb. This time I'm saving you. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please reactivate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch and the control room to reactivate the power grid. Alrighty. Ooh, yay, pouches! <laughs> yeah, I love getting those in the first one. There we go. Combine. Probably gonna only keep one of these on me still. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Alrighty. Oh, no, I think I can do this in a oh, timely... It no. Like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to stop the video here, guys. And in the next video, we are going to 
turn on the power grid. We're going to see what it's like down there. I've already played through a little bit down there. And honestly, um, I'm not looking forward to fighting the spiders. I fucking hated the spiders in the old second game. When you get into the sewers and they, left you, they leave you with that freaking poisoned effect. That was like straight bullshit. But honestly, um, it's going to be a, <laughs> a painful experience. Without further ado... Welcome to the Madhouse.